You know, it doesn't stop to amaze me how people end up with this kind of garbage, this product. People end up with this kind of product because somebody keeps buying it for them, and as long as they are being sold and bought, the manufacturer in China will keep making them. Here is the there there are the letters that it says China on it. So presumably it means that it wasn't made in Cambodia. Although anybody can write China on a finished product. But we'll just go with China for country of origin. So what's wrong with this thing? Three things. It's supposed to be a ruler. First, it doesn't lie flat. It's curved. Okay, it's got a camber in this way. So it's not a big problem. You can flatten it out and then you can draw a straight line. But it's a fail in plastics technology to come up with something like this. It doesn't matter how cheap it is. Just for contrast, here is a about 15 cent ruler. This one lies flat. What a surprise. Also probably made in China. So the problem isn't where the ruler originates from. The problem is plastics technology failure. Okay? And that people keep paying money for this. Otherwise it's a cute color, but uh, but that's uh, one down, three more to go. So, what else is wrong with it? Yeah, you can see the numbers on this one clearly marked in inches and centimeters and millimeter lines. On this one, yeah, good luck finding the numbers. You really have to tilt it and the numbers are only legible, I can get a little closer, only legible in one angle. If it's over that, good luck. Same for the inches. The inches would be the lower edge. If it's glistening in a certain way, there, you can read the inches there on the bottom. So every quarter inch is marked, and here every half a centimeter is marked. So there's nothing wrong with the units of measure. The problem is you can't read these numbers in all light. Where this one, you can read it in pretty much doesn't matter how the ruler is rotated. So third issue is related to the numbers again. But for this, I'm going to put it over the on the overhead projector. So we're going to look at the accuracy of these centimeter marks here. It's way out. So right over here under the overhead, I have the exact same two rulers laid out, edge against edge, where the centimeters edges meet. Let's zoom into the centimeter graduation here, so we can see precisely the difference between the two items. You see in geometry, two lines, or line segments, lined up are lined up properly if the center line of this painted line on the clear ruler lines up with the center line of this ruler. So 1 and 14 are in proper alignment in this case, even if I zoom in even closer there. Now, kids are not going to be looking at it with a microscope or under strong magnification like this, but, uh, but I need to show you this way so you can see the difference between the two. If I move over on the clear scale, five centimeters, on the green scale, on the green ruler, you can see that the number ten is not really in perfect alignment anymore with the fifth centimeter mark on the on the clear ruler. You can see that the center line of this is not in line anymore with the center line of the green. And if I move over to centimeter 14 on the clear plastic ruler and look at the edge of the first centimeter line on the green one you can see that over a length of 14 centimeters now we are out half a millimeter or so. Maybe that, maybe a third of a millimeter. So what does it matter for a kid? Kids work are typically out by a magnitude of whole centimeters or multiples of millimeters, not a quarter of a millimeter. Well, the green ruler certainly teaches nothing about accuracy, about precision, 
or about paying attention to work. And the green ruler is also missing the millimeter line, which in and of itself is not a problem. This can work fantastically well as a teaching tool, but but uh, is not going to import the kid with good working habit and paying attention to detail. So, going back to plastics technology, not only the green ruler is crooked, a fail in plastic technology, not only the numbers on it are invisible or hard to read, but also they are inaccurately placed. So that's why it's a triple fail in plastics manufacturing. It's not so much a problem with as an educational tool. It's more so a, play, uh, a fail in plastics technology. So uh, should people keep uh, buying this in North America? I'm not saying they should, but they are free to do so. And as long as you vote with your dollars to pay for the green ruler, good for the Chinese manufacturer, you know. They are going to get richer by your dollars and uh, as uh, economists note it's giving rise to a phenomenon that's known as Chimerica where America owes billions of dollars to China and now China lends to America well that's another story but uh, Chinese savings are possible because people keep buying their products and once the banks in China have savings then they can lend and do whatever they like with it. Alright, end of the lesson.